Good morning, Tuscany Besties. Today is Thursday, April 15th, 2021. Please stand for the pledges and remain standing for the mission statement and the moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. We the Tigers will be inspired to lead, honor, and excel today. Hey Tigers, this is Ryan with their sports news. In the MLB, the Dodgers beat the Rockies 6-3 and the Astros beat the Tigers 7-4. That's all I have for today. It's you, Jake. Thanks, Ryan. Hi, I'm Jake, and I'm here to do the sports trivia. Did you know that over the weekend, the University of Massachusetts won its first ever national hockey championship? That's all I have for today. It's you, Charlie. Thanks, Jake. Today's spotlight is, did you know that if you keep a mask on for an entire year, you will make enough heat energy to heat up a cup of tea? That's all for today. Over to you, Andrea. And now more announcements from Ms. Bailey and Ms. Leon. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, staff, and good morning, parents. Good morning. Happy Thursday, April 15th. That's right. Okay, so some new information has been sent out to families, to our parents regarding safety updates for Northeast ISD. So boys and girls, just to give you a brief message on this that your parents might have brought up to you, we are still operating with our same safety protocols inside the building. The only change is when you are outside for recess or outdoor PE, your parents can give your teacher permission to let you go without your mask if you are social distancing. 
you have to be social distancing. If you're gonna be close to a friend at recess, you need your mask on. But if you are outdoors or outdoor PE and you are social distance, your parents can give permission to your teacher for you to have your mask off. And this is a parent decision. So they would communicate that to the teacher. This is not a student decision to do that. It needs, you need to make sure that if you want, if your parents want you to be safe and keep a mask on when outdoors for recess and outdoor PE, that your teachers are helping your parents by making sure that you are following those rules. But if they're okay with it, they can let your teachers know and your teachers will allow you to take your mask off as long as you are social distance. The other changes, we may begin welcoming back some parent volunteers in our building. We are still not open for lunch with your parents or lots of people being visiting or volunteering on campus, but we will have a few. You may see a parent volunteer in the library coming up in the next week or so. You may see a parent volunteering in the workroom. So we will have a few, but all of our volunteers on campus are required to wear their masks. We also are starting where your parents, if they are dropping off anything or coming by the office, they can come all the way in to see Mrs. Laura. They do not have to be met at the door. Um, so help us out with that because we've had lots of lunch boxes and glasses and water bottles and forgotten homework. And Miss Laura is back and forth to the door, back and forth to the door. So boys and girls, help your parents get you out the door for school in the morning with all the things that you need. You are in charge of you, so you can help out with those things. Hi, girls. I'm on the, do you have your lunchbox? Do you have your homework? Is it in your binder? You know, I ask the questions, but they're in charge of making sure they have their stuff in their backpack. Um, so help your parents with that too. And those are some ways that we can start as we're transitioning toward the end of the year, help the front office out since it's one person and we have a lot of families and a lot of students that need things. Um, so parents will be able to come into the front office, but not beyond that at this time. So just a few of the changes that we wanted to mention to you and make sure that you work with your teacher and your parents regarding the outdoor recess and outdoor PE. Sounds good. It'll be nice to see some familiar faces on the campus, that's for sure. Yes, it will. We also have coming up on the 21st is volunteer recognition. Um, so we'll be sending out a video message to all of our volunteers to share how much we appreciate them for all that they do for us. And we will begin our planning for end of the year. So I know your parents and a lot of our students probably have questions about end of year parties and field day and what is that gonna look like? What about fifth grade ceremony? We're in the works on planning that. We'll be working as a staff here to make some plans, talking to our volunteers. And when we have a good plan, solid plan, then we will send that out to your family. So you can let them know, Mrs. Bailey's talking about it. She's working out a plan. We will most definitely have something that will look a lot different than it did at the end of last year. So more coming on that. Yes. Okay. okay. So I know we have jokes, but just to let you guys know, um, Mrs. Leon and I are recording a few morning announcements today ahead of time because of things on our calendar and Ms. Johnson's calendar. So we're gonna be coming to you in morning announcements with the same clothes on, with the same <laughs> earrings, with the same hairdo, but that's because we had to record ahead. But we have missed being on morning announcements with you guys, so we did not want to skip days. So we're gonna do some recording so you will see us, but that's why we will look the same. Yeah, so same outfits, different <laughs> jokes. <laughs> that's right, that's right. All right, you wanna go first? Sure, okay, so my first two are from Mrs. Munoz herself in fourth grade. And she says, what do you call a rabbit with the sniffles? Sniffles, like a runny, runny nose. A, not a sniffle bunny. I like you were on a, like, a runny bunny. A runny bunny. Yeah. There you go, a runny bunny. <laughs> okay, and then the next one says, "How do you catch a rabbit?" This would have been good around Easter. I'm sure this is when she put them in too. But how do you catch a rabbit? Hmm. I don't know that one. <laughs> Make a noise like a carrot. <laughs> That's right, and he'll hop right on over. Mm -hmm. And maybe I'll just do her last one because it's rabbit related too. It says, how okay. do rabbits travel? How do they travel? They hop. Think of their other name that rabbits go by. 
bunnies. <laughs> Another name. <laughs> A scientific know. name, maybe I don't know. Hares. Oh, so they travel by hair plane. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't have gotten that. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all I have. Very good jokes. Okay, so I have a few coming from second grade. This is Jackson in Miss Herrera's classroom. Why did the banana go to the doctor? He slipped on his peel or something. It was slippery and he, I don't know. Because he wasn't peeling well. Oh, okay. <laughs> Figured he slipped. Okay. And then second grade, Miss Mendoza Levi asks, what school supply is the boss of all the other school supply? What school supply is the boss of all the others? Hmm. I don't know what. The ruler. Oh, cute. <laughs> I was thinking okay. of a queen something. And I have a few more coming from second grade, so I'll save them for another recording. Okay, so that's all you got. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. We will see you tomorrow in the same outfit. Have a great day. All right. Bye. y'all more American Sign Language. This week I've decided to switch things up just a little bit and instead of teaching y'all a word, I want to start teaching y'all the American Sign Language alphabet. This week we're going to learn A through G and next week I'll go over A through G again and continue all the way until we get to Z. Okay, to start off you're going to take your dominant hand whether that's your left or your right and all of these letters will be palm facing outward like this. Okay, I'll do it twice really slow and then y'all can go home and practice it. Okay, are we ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, let's do it again. One more time. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Amazing, and I can't wait to see y'all next week to teach y'all more of the alphabet in ASL. Goodbye.